Hey everybody, this is Dark Cars, and we're back with a really quick short filler video, and uh, what I want to show off is this little script I went ahead and created. Now, I wasn't entirely sure how to do this, but uh, Grogger wanted more or less more different brush palettes to work with, so we've been working with brushes. By default, if you install just Unity in one of the newer versions, like the 2070, 2018 version, you will get a basic tile palette which you can draw with. It's actually, you can get most of what you need done with this. You can draw with it and everything else, like what tile you want. Ignore this whole mess here. This is... We have more tiles on this palette than we really need. But if you install the 2D and Extra packet that you can download off of the website that they provide, let me actually, it's off their GitHub. So it's down here, we got the tile map system. I actually made a sure I have a bookmark in here to sign where I got it from. If you actually go there, you can get this. What this will come with is it'll give you a coordinate brush, which I've yet to figure out what it does. A game object brush will let you paint game objects. Line brush, which will let you paint lines, which is actually remarkably useful. Um, I don't know why it's so way over there. I what in the world? So some, at some point this decided that it was going to paint a brush. I think it's saving the last time I had this open. Uh, but you, with the line brush you can click and then you can basically make lines which is really useful. It has a filler op gap option which I believe what you can do is you can make a line here and there and it should fill in one side or the other. I don't actually know how this works. Um, undo doesn't seem to work very well on the line tool so it kind of it's not the greatest ideal. Uh, it, well, it, it does work. This is actually undone, it's just the style map not wanting to do what it's supposed to do. But you can get rid of that. So line, line brush works really well. Temp brush only works if you have a layer on here. But what Grogger wanted is he wanted a default brush that you could paint larger cubes. So say for example, he wanted to paint a cube like this size. Um, we actually can't do this with the, the brush I made, but we actually do something like that. So you can paint that. You, The way you can do this, and this is a tip, trick I finally figured out how to do, is you can do this and you can paint like this. This is useful. This actually lets you paint some bigger things and lets you paint really complex geometry. It's how I'm doing, doing the map layers right now. Uh, the problem with this is this does require you to first paint your brush that you want to uh, put on the map. So say you want to actually uh, paint things and it's also really um, pain the reset because you saw when I clicked it actually went over the middle map. But say we wanted to do a paintbrush like that, we would actually have to paint this somewhere where there was no duplication. So we're on a ceiling layer right now which is the reason why we're not duplicating the background. But uh, we would have to do that, and then we would have to effectively do this in order to get a paintbrush going. So what I went through is I went through and looked at Unity's tile, uh, the brushes they have up here. And I'll go ahead and show you what this code looks like, just to kind of express kind of how I am really confused how some of this stuff works. Uh, there probably is an explanation for it, but you see their examples. And they have all this stuff going on here, like, okay, you have a paint, a race, a floor, a fill, and they got all this code in here. It's not very well documented. I really hate it when especially professional companies don't document code that they provide. It's a bad thing, especially when you're trying to encourage people to use your example projects to do things. Uh, I'm assuming somebody will go through here and actually go, yeah, I understand everything that does well. Somebody like me, I don't actually understand everything that does. And it's really just my lack of working with it too much. I've only spent the last three hours on it. But um, here's the line brush. You end up actually having a class that does a line brush. And this is how I kind of figured it out. I ended up looking at the line brush and reading how this code worked. So this entire set here, it's just the line brush itself. Uh, this part actually does the painting. This allows you to create new line brushes. So that way, if you actually went up into the menu here and we actually unselected this, and you went into the asset folder and you hit create, you actually can come down here and create new line brushes. I don't really know what this is useful for because the reality of it is I have no clue what you can do it for. But it's something you have the ability to actually mess with. You can create new brushes. Then they have their actual code that does the uh, the filling and everything else. It's the actual logic that does it. Uh, it looks like they borrowed it from somewhere. They got the algorithms from some point. Then you have the actual editor script. This is what does the editing. This is actually what pastes the preview. And I don't exactly figure out what this does yet. I think this might be related to this over here. And I don't know if my brush actually knows how to mess with this stuff over here. I hope it does. Um, I hope it actually does work. But I went through, read through this, figured it out, kind of reverse engineered it, and I actually have made my own brush now. Now, it's my brush is really simple. I just wanted something that was, has some size to it, so you can set the size without having to go through and do everything. So we actually have the code here. This does the painting. It literally just loops over a set of lists. Really simplistic. There probably is a better way to do this. You probably could even catch the... Well, actually, I don't think you can catch the positions because you're being fed in a position of vector, but you probably could catch something. It probably would do better. Uh, generating is not that big of a deal. It actually probably... This is not very complicated. But we generate points, so we get a center point in here. I was originally putting in a vector three here, and then I got down at the editor and realized they actually give you a bound in, which is basically, for those who do Minecraft modding, it's similar to an axis and line box. It's, 
you have a min max and when you actually do run x y and z it actually gives men on here so i just went with that because it, it works i don't really have a lot of usage for this i just need to do something i really only need this to actually paint one tile but i have the impression of what would happen if we select two of these let me go down to my size brush what would happen oh that is not good <laughs> it actually messes up everything up there so that's good that's fun My size brush is not designed to do what it's doing, so let me actually fix. I'll have to fix this later. That's a good way to put it. Uh, maybe we don't actually need this whole preview editor thing. Let me get rid of this, and let's just do that. Let's get rid of that. That works. Apparently, we just figured this out. We don't actually need this. Uh, that saved me a lot of code to jump with. Uh, I wonder if I need any of this. That's also the reason why I love Unity, by the way, is that you can reload editor scripts in real time, which is something you don't usually see happen in editor scripts. But let's go ahead and get my size brush back out. Select, uh, say we want to paint with that. And this is remarkably a simple script. Get three, and it does look like that preview is actually needed, so I have to figure out how we don't mess it up in the screen up here. And there probably is a way to do it. It's probably like one of these here, which I'll figure out later but i just wanted to show off that i did figure this out that you can actually do custom brushes with tile map and this is going to give us a lot of different possibilities because what we could theoretically do is create pattern brushes and stuff like various things we want to do like say we want to paint x's on the map or we want to do circles uh, with tile maps we could theoretically make brushes to do this and we can make the algorithms because this right here is not hard to recycle if i just take this and turn this into a prefab and then have some way that you could override this and then just input a set of lists you want to run that wouldn't be too hard to do. And we could just put a circle algorithm in here. We could put a square algorithm in here. We could do whatever we want to and actually get our paintbrushes going. And I actually might spend some time working on these and put these up on the asset store because I did not see anything on the asset store for brushes. At least I had nothing I could find that was, um, there actually probably is one, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll see you guys later for more content videos.